So traumatic brain injury is actually the leading cause of death after trauma. So for people between the ages of 1 and 44, that's what kills more people than anything else. You know, it's not just survival that's the issue. There's long-term disability from traumatic brain injury. And people um, can be disabled for life. The, the value of this study is that we think we have a new therapy that can benefit patients uh, with traumatic brain injury. It hasn't been widely tested in that population, but it has been used in other situations of traumatic bleeding and it's been shown to be very safe. And we think that it has the potential to directly benefit patients who have bleeding around the brain. And we'd like to try it and see if, if we can find a way you know, to improve their outcome in the long term. Bleeding inside the skull is dangerous for you because it puts pressure on the brain, it damages the brain, and it can be life-threatening. Tranexamic acid is a drug that uh, affects the blood clotting. And um, when you make clot from bleeding, it's normally broken down by the body. And that process is accelerated in certain circumstances where you have trauma. And so this will prevent that clot from being broken down and could reduce the progression of bleeding around the brain. And almost all medical research and clinical trials are done under informed consent regulations where you have the time to sit down with a person, go over the study, explain the risks and benefits, and just have, let them decide if they want to participate. This circumstance is unique in that the patients that we need to study, that we need to know whether it's going to help or unconscious at the time uh, that they need the intervention. So there are very strict federal guidelines for what's called exception from informed consent research in an emergency setting. You have to have an intervention that, that has been proven to be safe, that has the potential to directly benefit the people that are involved in the study, and it has to be a life-threatening circumstance where there aren't other good therapies. And the community is supportive of participating in the studies. And what we're doing right now is reaching out to the community to tell them about the study, to get their feedback on the study, and, and understand whether the community of Seattle, King County, would be supportive of, being, of participating in this trial. We have a, a system to allow people to opt out and who feel strongly about not wanting to participate in this type of research. It's a medical alert bracelet that you contact us, we'll send it to you in the mail, you just wear it during the period of the study. It tells the paramedics who are used to looking for medical alert bracelets that this person doesn't want to participate in the study.